Hi guys, happy Thursday. I'm very excited. I, I had to go to the post office because I had a package at the, and it was this the 369 journal. The 369 method is a, is a type of manifestation. And this is a book that, you know, there's an app. You can probably join me if you scan that app. I wonder if you can see the QR code or not. I don't know, I can send it to you, but. Um, you can you can download the app. I need to fix my account so I can download my app. But um, this book it explains the method a little bit better detail. But then it has like a journal where you can like document things and write down affirmations and just stuff like that. And I just and I've been I'm all about this stuff. I had a great conversation last night with Jeffrey Gurian, who's a comedy guru, comedy genius, and he was on my podcast last night. And you can hear the podcast if you go to this sucky broadcast.com but he jeffrey's written several books on uh positive energy and and manifestation and all this good stuff and just just in general and i'm it was such a great conversation to have with him and just a lot of that energy lately and, and that's what i do with this daily vlog and my and my bucket list and all this other stuff i'm trying to put the energy out there so i can make my life better that's my Thursday therapy for the day. You gotta put the energy out there. You can't you can't light a light bulb without energy. So you're just, you're just gonna sit in the dark. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but as long as you're not putting any energy into the bulb, you're just sitting in a dark room. You have to put some energy into the bulb to lighten up your surroundings, to be able to see. So that's what I've been doing. I've been trying, I've been working on that. Um, I was excited to get this journal. I've been, I really was excited to get this journal. I was so glad when it got sent to me because I because uh, it's it's enough that it's gonna go like I can start this. I'll probably start this on tomorrow or Saturday. I'm gonna probably read some more up on it before I start it. But then I, I'm gonna start this fresh, and I'll be able to do this. Probably this will last me until my birthday. Looking at how many pages it is, it'll probably last on my birthday. And it's something I think I can really. I can really utilize. I love you guys. I just want you to know that. I get I get some haters out there, and I know I got haters out there, and and that's fine. People want to spam. I get like I made a conversation yes a, a comment yesterday on Instagram, and some guy went through a bunch of my Instagram posts and said these are worthless. Why are you even doing this? And the thing about it is like I understand that he was doing it because he was trolling me, because he didn't like what I had to say because he was on some website where people complain about having to show their receipts at Walmart and how that's somehow an invasion of their rights. And you can have this conversation if you want, but there is a, there's an Instagram channel dedicated. It's called like receipt Nazis or something like that. And it's dedicated to people complaining about having to show their receipts at Walmart because they don't think that's fair because they bought the merchandise. And all I said was, yeah, you need to show proof of your that you bought it so you can take it out of the store. Like, if you just say you bought it and you had to believe the person, then I could walk into your house and say, I own this house. And if the cops showed up, I could be like, I own this house. This guy says you don't need to have a receipt. You just have to take my word for it. <laughs> so I, I own your house. And I, I just think that's, it's, that's insane logic. And it's just, people are crazy. And this whole thing going around about the girl that got... I don't know if you saw the video of the girl and she got beat up and and yeah she she was starting the fight but we don't know what happened before that because it just seemed like a bullying situation in my opinion and it seems like she had enough and she fought back and then a bunch of people jumped her and then all of a sudden she's now got brain damage but you don't know you don't know the whole story and that's and that's the thing but it's amazing to me how many people are so willing to support the girl who bashed in the other girl's skull on the concrete just because they want her because because they want her to they say she's the victim or whatever that is very it's very confusing to me right or wrong there has to be a moment where you stop looking at like skin color and gender and all this other stuff and you just start you have to just look at like what's right and what's wrong and that's what we've we've really skipped away from that stuff because we excuse things now because of uh of uh of stuff like that we we can say oh this person's not a bad person because they're part of this protected group they're because they're in this community or they're in that community or something like that and we somehow let bad behavior slide because of that and it's not right we're all humans 
we're all in the same place. We're all, you know, I mean, I am a result. I don't, I, I think you guys know this or not. I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm actually a direct descendant of slaves. And if you go way back in my history, about four generations, uh, you will see that my uh, grandparents were uh, a biracial couple and my that my great grandfather was uh, a mixed race um and that whole thing for me is important because i can tell people that i exist because people chose love over hate because this wasn't like the 70s this was after the civil war and these two people chose to get married and have a family and that family made another family, which made another family, which then down the way made me. So, um, I just think it's, uh, I think it's fascinating. I think all this stuff's fascinating. You know, you just shouldn't ever like question how the world works because it's there, it's there to help you. You, you, you don't, you don't think it's there to help you, but every single bad and good thing has led you up to this moment watching this video of me talking about every good moment that's led me up to making this video. So I love you guys and I hope you have a really amazing Thursday and I will be back on Friday. Thank you.